Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. I hope you're all having a great day. Today we have Michigan for the Truck Series, Road America, and Darlington for Xfinity, and Darlington for the Cup Series. And in the Truck Series, we had subscriber Connor Merrill in the truck for us here in the 20th starting position. Always tough to qualify uh, in a strong position at Michigan, but Connor would work his way forwards throughout this race as the time uh, came towards the final lap of this race. Merrill had worked his way up into P9 on the outside of the 22 of Austin Wayne himself. A little bit of contact there between the two as he would drift it down to that 10th position as they came out of turn 4, heading down the front straightaway through the trial. There you see the 24 of Haley looking to the inside as they would cross the line. Merrill would edge him out for P10 and now we come th uh, straight through into the Xfinity Series where we had Jordan Taylor actually in our car for Road America. He is a IMSA driver for Wayne Taylor Racing, so uh, I decided to put him in the car, and he would be able to work his way forwards pretty quickly as well throughout this race. He would climb up into the top 15 before it had come to an end now as he was coming up the front straightaway to end this race here in Road America. Taylor would come through to finish in the 12th position. And as we came to Darlington for a throwback race, we had Jeff Gordon in the car for us as he went down through turns one and turns two. He started in the seventh position. Obviously, Jeff Gordon is my all-time favorite driver, so I decided we had to get him in the car for this race as he came out of turns two. He would also be able to slowly work his way forwards, not uh, too much forwards. He only gained one more spot up to P6 as he came through turns three and turns four. On the final lap now, trying to make a pass on Christopher Bell for P5 as he came out of the corner but did not make any contact. Trying not to interfere with him as he got sideways there, but would hang on for P6. And now we come straight through into the Cup Series qualifying here at Darlington as we exit turn four, heading down the front straightaway. Myself, it was a pretty decent lap. I did get into the wall, but we did get P12 by the 29.829. So let's get to it here in the Tonight, Southern 500. The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series returns to Darlington Raceway for the running of the Bojangles Southern 500. This unique egg-shaped oval, also known as the track too tough to tame, has had a long history of tormenting drivers. However, more recently, a new tradition has taken root here. Darlington has become the home of the official NASCAR Throwback Weekend. So join us as we celebrate seven decades of NASCAR and take a fun trip back through time. Let's do some old school racing. All right, we're ready to go green here for the Bojangles Southern 500 at Darlington Raceway. Martin Drake Jr. still mad at us, so we have to watch out for him. He is starting up towards the front now, as that is our only note, though, coming in to this race here in Darlington as we get ready to go green from the 12th starting position here for the Southern 500 from on the outside of Eric Jones as the green flag is out, and we are underway here in Darlington. Two races remain here in the regular season. On the points, it's between Daniel Suarez and Jamie McMurray for that final spot in the playoffs unless someone else wins their way in as we come through turns one and turns two for the first time here as Brad Kozlowski leads away as we exit turn two heading down the back straight away on the inside we have Denny Hamlin behind us it's the 42 of Kyle Larson as we go down into turn three we're going to go in a little bit deep and already get to the wall there as expected here in Darlington so picking up our first Darlington stripe in or on the first lap here in Darlington as we would sit now P14 as we came through to complete the first lap here as we go down towards turns one behind Hamlin now looking to his inside as we we have the momentum through the first corner and now looking to the inside of Kurt Busch behind McMurray and Suarez, the two drivers battling for that last spot in the playoffs right now as we head down the back straight away towards turns three. We would continue moving our way forwards as well as we came through now on lap three looking to the inside of Ryan Newman. We have moved up into the top ten as Jamie McMurray. He was quickly moving his way through the field, but Daniel Suarez was falling behind there as we came out of turn two on lap six. We would actually get into the wall and damage the right side of the car. That was a little bit of a setback, but we would be able to work our way back forwards as we had now passed Kyle Busch for P7 on lap ten and now to the back bumper of Kevin Harvick as we came out of turn two heading down the back straightaway. Now looking to the inside of Harvick as we go down towards turn three, obviously. Kevin Harvick, one of the stronger competitors this season and all throughout our career mode on NASCAR Heat 3 now as we come through on the exit of turns 4. Harvick trying to keep up the battle, but we do get clear and take over the 6th position. And as we came through now on lap 15 in this first stage, looking now to the inside of Joey Logano as we would pass Logano for that fifth spot. He would try to battle back there, but Logano still winless this season. He didn't get a single win last season either. Now he came through on lap 19. Dealing with some lap traffic was a huge advantage to myself as we make a move on Blaney now, and we're up into fourth and third after passing Austin Dillon as well. 
so far a great first stage for us here in Darlington as we put uh, the 47 of Priest lap down as we came through now to start the final lap in this first stage. Truex up towards the front with Brad Kozlowski in second. Now as we sit in the third position as we exit turn two heading down the back straightaway for the final time here in stage one. We started in 12th and we have climbed all the way up to P3 as we come through turns three and turns four. Kozlowski right on the bumper of Truex who's dealing with traffic but it's going to be Truex who comes through to win stage one and Kozlowski second and myself in third as Truex still looking for win number one on the season so uh, gonna be tough for him to make it happen here the Southern 500 some big names still winless right now obviously Truex and Logano the two of those but uh, Logano has been winless for a while now in our career mode which is not something you ever expect to see but we would come to pit road to take two cans of fuel four tires and we would repair the damage that we picked up so we dropped three positions down to six as we get ready to go green here to start stage two it's Truex and Kozlowski on the front row with McMurray and Elliott on the second row now as the green flag is up and we are back underway for the start of stage two McMurray gained a good group of points right there on Daniel Suarez who holds that last spot in the playoff so it's not over yet and there's another points picture that we are watching with Cody Ware trying to make it into the top 30 in points he is only about 20 points out or so of the top 30 and if he gets into that top 30 he will be back in the playoffs now as we head down the back straight away Larson takes over the position from myself as we go down towards turns three but as we come through the center of turns three and turns four, we will battle back to the inside of the 42 of Kyle Larson. Now as we exit turn four, heading down the front straightaway side by side with one of our former teammates back from our second season. And this career mode is go down into turns one, still side by side with the 42 of Larson. He's almost clear. We nearly made contact. We might just have barely touched right there as we come through on the exit of turn two, still side by side. Can't quite get ahead of the 42 of Larson, who's going to continue to battle back as we go down towards turns three. But this time, Harvick is a a little bit slower and that allows me to get clear of Larson as we look to the inside of Kevin Harvick now as we exit turn four. And we would continue to battle side by side with Harvick as we came through now on the back straightaway on lap three as we went down into turn three going a little bit wide a little bit of contact made there with the four but we do take over that sixth position. We then would run down the next five cars ahead of us as they were all slowed up by Truex who wasn't really pulling away now as we head down the front straightaway here in P6 with nine to go at this point in stage two but the caution is going to come out and force a restart upon us here late in the second stage. It was, must have been Ty Dillon who brought out the caution he, as he is the only one pitting now as I couldn't find a replay of what actually happened but we're getting ready now to go green late here in stage two. We're past halfway point now. So far things have gone good for us in this race as uh, we go Go green now. Truex leads the way as we come through to cross the line on the outside. Ryan Blaney, not a good restart for the row behind us with Larson and Hamlin. So that allows me to drop to the inside in front of the 42 of Kyle Larson as we come through turns one and turns two late here in stage two. Elliott trying to take second away from Kozlowski. Obviously, our teammate Chase Elliott got win number one on the season in the last episode in Bristol as he uh, had a battle with myself in the later stages of that race. And unfortunately, he came out on top and we could not finish in the uh, winning position position obviously so we continue to finish in third lately here in our career mode but now as we come through approaching the final lap in the stage it's Elliott and Kozlowski this time side by side for the leaders there's a slow car up ahead and Elliott hits him it's Landon Castle who goes spinning just in front of us now as he's going to come back up the track in the background he goes flipping through turns one and turns two and that's going to bring out a caution and end stage two early only about three quarters of a lap early, but wow, did that got, get wild for a second. We were lucky to not get involved in that. We would pit for two cans of fuel and four tires as well. But Landon Castle had some type of issue. Got wrecked by Chase Elliott. Truex might have gotten into the side of Castle as well when he went spinning. And then Castle came back up the track into traffic, and then he starts flipping everywhere. So unfortunate for him. We've had quite a few flips this season. But we dropped four spots now as we get ready to start this third stage as we had four slower cars stay out now as the green flag is out in the final stage is underway here with the Southern 500 on the outside of the 42 of Kyle Larson. 41 laps remain and if things stay green for the rest of this stage we will have to make a green flag pit stop. Side by side with Jamie McMurray as we come through turns one and turns two. Now on the exit of the corner, we have a bit of a bubble and we get into the wall. And now Menard hits us into the side of the wall and we have got a bunch of damage now on the right side of the cars. We're going down into turns three. 
just like that we take a big hit to the right side of the car and now our uh, running position has been jeopardized down to p17 so not good for us thankfully we have the two wins we're locked into the playoffs we can afford something like this uh, really the next two races we don't have to worry about anything here in darlington and in the breakyard 400 so i wasn't too concerned i was certainly disappointed because now it looks like we're not going to have the speed that's going to be uh, capable of maybe winning so hopefully we can get the pit road and repair this damage now as we go through turn three a lot of slow cars holding everybody up here as we come through on the inside of Denny Hamlin as we exit turn four heading down the front straightaway looking to the inside of Kurt was behind Paul Menard here and Alex Bowman our teammate as we go down towards turns one here with 39 laps to go in Darlington things not going quite our way here at the start of this third and final stage in Darlington now as we come out of turn two we get under the apron this time and now it gets even worse as we would have to let a lot of these guys go as I was trying to get back on the track we would drop to P23 now as we came to lap 55 through turn three and turn four again and now there's trouble with Paul Menard who goes into the outside wall after blowing a tire we stayed to the inside and now the caution flies and we're going to move up one spot to P19 as we get ready to restart here I thought about maybe coming to pit road and repairing the damage but I figured we weren't going to have enough fuel anyways to get to the end so I didn't really see it as a good trade-off to come to the pit uh, lane so now we go green once again here from P19 now Chase Elliott our teammate back here in 18 still some slow cars in front of us now as there's 34 laps to go here in Darlington a caution after now would definitely mean we could just come to the pit road and get to the end on field without having to make a green flag pit stop now as we exit turn two. I did forget to mention, Jamie McMurray made up some more points on Daniel Suarez in stage two. So now he is certainly putting the pressure on the number 41 driver of Suarez there as he's on the outside of us as we come through turn three and turn four. Now up into the top 15, trying to make up some time as we get a little bit sideways on the exit of turn four, heading down the front straightaway to come through to complete the lap 59 and start lap 60 as we go down into turns one we would get past uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Cody Ware and as, as we came through to lap 64 passing our teammate of Alex Bowen Mo moving back into the top 10 we would pass Kyle Larson and a few others and we would get up to P6 passing our rival now of Martin Truex Jr. as we came out of turn two looking to the inside now of Kevin Harvick as we went down the back straight away trying to get away from Martin Truex Jr. And as we came through on the back straightaway, still side by side with Kevin Harvick as we went down towards turns three. But this time we would send it in deep enough into the third turn to clear Kevin Harvick and take over P5. We then would run down Kyle Busch for the fourth position as it came through a few laps later on lap 73. Now on the inside of him as we went down towards turns three. And now Kyle Larson continuing to trail me through the field as we would pass now Kyle Busch in the 18 car and take over the fourth position. We then would run down this lap traffic ahead of us as we came to lap 78, 15 to go. Myself, Larson, and Truex now dealing with these cars with the leaders trying to get through them. As now Larson looks to the outside of me as we come through turns two. Truex hits us in the bumper and sideways he goes into the wall as we hang on to the car. And that's going to bring out a caution here in Darlington now as everyone's going to come to pit road. This puts me in a really bad spot though because I had to take four tires and the AI did not. So we dropped 23 positions down to 28th and it looked like we had a chance and Truex uh, puts us in a terrible spot now as the green flag is back out and this certainly gives us a, a very slim chance now of getting a good finish because there's only 12 laps to go but we're going to look to the inside here just about to back to Benedetto but he stays clear as we go down into turns one and turns two but we would just kind of ride this inside line and we would sure enough be able to move our way forwards up further now as we came through and make a three wide there with Benedetto we would get all the way up into P19 as we came through on lap 83 now looking up the inside there of Kurt Busch as it came through turns one and turns two as we exit the corner now going to get a little bit sideways there and there's contact with the one car now sliding into the inside wall we go and that's going to put some more damage on the car as the caution will fly again here in Darlington and now we would stay out and just try to pretty much just do whatever we could with what we had left as certainly so many ups and downs for us in this race a strong first stage a strong second stage a rough start to stage three we rallied ourselves into the top five and now things have unfortunately gone south for us as our last few trips at this track have not gone very well and obviously this is our last race at darlington in nascar heat three career mode so now as we head down the back straight away we would fade in here to the inside in front of bubble wallace but obviously we won our first race uh at or the first race we ever did at darlington we won that was our second career win and then it's kind of been a struggle in the past few uh races here so it's unfortunate but now we would come through to take the white flag we had actually rebounded up into the 16th position at this point behind ty dillon after passing eric almarola as we come through turns one and turns two for the final time now looking
looking to the inside of the 13 of Ty Dillon. Now he's come through on the exit of turn two, heading down the back straightaway for the final time here in the Southern 500. Our Hendrick Motorsports teammate of Chase Elliott actually was leading this race coming to the checkered flag. Elliott got his first win of the season in the last episode after passing us late and Elliott would come through to win in Darlington as well for win number two in a row as we would come through to finish in the 15th finishing position behind our teammate of Alex Bowman. An unfortunate finish considering how this race went for us. We had some uh, strong points and then we just had some uh, rough moments as well. But Chase Elliott picks up the victory so Hendrick Motorsports at least gets the victory and that leaves us now with one race to go in the regular season as we now are up in the P5 in the standings as Martin Truex Jr. is still not very happy with us thinking we should be suspended even though he was the one that drove into the back of me. I apologize to him anyways just trying to get rid of that rivalry but as always if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to comment like and subscribe those would all be very appreciated. Here is the playoff grid going into the final regular season race of the season. Jamie McMurray is 14 points behind Daniel Suarez so it's going to get close between those two and Cody Ware obviously has a win but he is about 25 points or no sorry 21 points out of the top 30 so he has a chance as well so it's going to get close so that'll do it for this one and thank you for watching everybody and have yourselves a great day.